Okay, welcome back to Soccer Manager 23 with our Bath United career mode. Hopefully the Worms will do a bit better this time around. We lost the first two games of the series. We're not into actual season yet, we're still just in the pre-season tournament. And nothing has really improved in terms of me playing my personal save with Liverpool, which is what I did in my first impression video. Impression? First opinions. Um, yeah, I've been losing a lot of games, and I'm not really sure why. I can't figure out what I am doing wrong, even against teams that I should be absolutely whipping, like Everton. I'm losing 2-0. So, hopefully this goes a bit better. We lost 4-1 in the last game. Scored the first goal of the series. Previous game was a 1-0. Um, yeah, let's just hope this goes a little bit better than last time. We're going to get straight into it, because I don't want this to be a massive video like it was last time that was a pain to edit because it was so long it was an hour and 10 minutes of recording or something uh, what's in this next match is against Torquay okay two United teams one thing actually one thing I didn't explain is why it is Bath United Roman so Bath is a Roman town the town originally was originated from when Roman when Romans were in England and that town was started or at least what was originally that town was started by Romans so there's Roman origins I guess you'd say so that is where the Romans come from I've not just randomly picked something um, I guess we'll just what position to see we'll wrap him in then <clears throat> um <laughs> I'm going to see if one thing I have not really tried much of yet is seeing if a four-man defense helps us in any way. So we're going to test that. Why on earth is Evans? Isn't he a forward? Yeah, why is he back here? Let's fold Evans in behind. I want to switch him for that. Thank you. I wish I could just start again. Can I suggest a team or something? Where's the auto pick? Auto pick. Just get players in decent positions. Okay, so where's Fitzgerald? I can't see him. Fitzgerald, there he is. Um, I'm going to move you a bit closer to him. Chuck you in there. Can you sit a bit deeper? Oh no, no, you'll be out of position. I want to try and hold you in your position at least. Okay, let's just let's just go with that. All we're gonna change is put Fitzgerald in. And let's just see how we go with the auto pick team. See if we do a bit better than if I pick the teams. I've been I realized after recording last episode actually. Oh, okay, more ups off that up. Anyway, after last episode I realized that I did used to do I pick one player to boost in each game towards the end of the Paris FC series. Um, if you want that to come back, then I can do that. I guess just comment below. Why is... Look at my jersey. That is not my jersey. Or kit. Um, as you say in soccer. That's not what the shirt is. The shirt is the striker one. So why is it that? See, look, this is the kit. If I pick this kit, this should be the kit that I see in-game. So why is it not? Let's try this again. See, why is it that? Come on, guys. Fix it. Something else that I've noticed playing my other save is if a defender does a long ball up and there's a header into goal, sometimes even if there's two possessions between the kick from the opposite half to the goal, sometimes the defender just gets the goal. Like I've had it twice today with one with Trent and one with Gomez, scoring a goal where they had one of them, he hadn't got the um, Gomez one, he hadn't touched the ball in two possessions and he was credited the goal. So yeah, um, we have Western Talky here, I've not really been talking much about the actual game. I'm not going to lie, I don't know, I'm going to keep pushing through because I think it's just my incapability to actually win a game. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I've not really been enjoying playing it casually on my own. Fitzgerald with the ball puts it out wide. On the ball here is Jepson. Jepson holds it, wastes a bit of time, gets a man in the box, we've got about 5 on 5, and the ball's here, shot missed by Gore. 
Okay, Jepson on the ball. He might go for goal here. It's in an okay position, or he might put it in. He centers it. Ball's near. I didn't read that now. I couldn't see it. It's launched back up the other end and all the way to our keeper. We can. Oh, that was out of the box, wasn't it? Okay, Evans on the ball. <laughs> Pushing forward. It's launched back the other way. Running back here. They're going to get the ball first if it stays in play, which it does. And Jarvis gets the ball in here to whatever. Good win. Who scores it all? Right, see what I mean? It doesn't really, right. I understand the team isn't very good anyway, so I'm bound to lose games. But this sort of thing happens, like, even down in this little assistant manager bit, it says midfield's on top. Or, um, or something like, um, what is it? Um, something along the lines of midfield's on top. We're looking good, yada yada. There's a good chance to win here. Oh, we scored. Um, Doug Dale with the second goal of the six. Well, geez. There you go, perfect example. That was. Was that not headed in by that guy with the yellow boots? I believe it was. Yes, it was. And the free kick taker was awarded the goal. There you go, perfect example right in front of our eyes of what I was talking about. Yeah, but it seems like no matter what, I just lose. Even when the assistant manager is saying that. There you go, that's it, we could. Uh, looking good for a win or something like similar to what I just saw there on the assistant manager tab. And then within like 10 seconds, opposition scores. I don't know if it's me or if it is something with the design of the game, but nothing I seem to do will be fixed. It. Well, beautiful thing you say, will be fixed. It. Amazing. Someone go at Jarvis, please. Jarvis, pass the ball, hit a good win, takes a shot. And they have scored again. 2 on the Torquay. I'm not sure if it's carried over, it might have carried over, um, I have changed highlights to key, highlights only. It may have carried over to this save as well, I will check that for you guys in a second so you know. I think it's probably a good idea so we can actually get through the series because the last one we did what, two seasons, season and a half, in almost a year of playing. If we go settings. Yeah, so we're on key highlights. If you have any tips that may help me with this problem, feel free to put it below. I uh, will take any feedback as long as it is not abusive on board. Ratcliffe playing very poorly, so I will pull him. Actually, you know what? I'll give him. Uh, I'll give him until 55, and then I'll pull him if he's not improved to at least a six. Um, defensively, we are struggling. We might need to change our tactics to turn this game around. Torquay are getting too many chances. We need to tighten up the back. Well, let's go instructions. What would you do? I would say probably the best thing there would be... Um, we don't want to park the bus because that's just going to make us in a bad position. I'd say hold the ball, get some decent possession. But when I do things like this, I tend to just concede in the next 20 seconds of me, not 20 seconds of playtime. So rule life 20 seconds, not game 20 seconds. I may not even need a cut for this, I've been talking consistently through this, so I've made my editing probably really easy, not going to lie. So when I was leaving the field, let's pause it and see this, has he got any better? He's actually got worse, well he is leaving the field, Ratcliffe can leave for... Oh, that's the wrong side. He's better anyway, so Gowing is coming on. I got a few plied, plied, tired players in the middle as well. Um... If we go you, you're tired. If you switch you, then Barker's out of it. Denton on the ball now, we're in defence. Ball's here with, I uh, didn't even see who that was, probably Jepson. Yes, it was Jepson. They got the ball across. Wyatt gets it out back to Tomlinson. Launched up forward. They got the ball in front of goal again, and they've scored. 3 1. I just, I don't. Pff, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Whether I'm with Liverpool or with Bath United, I just seem to get whipped every single game I play. The weird thing with the Liverpool one is I'm beating, in the Champions League, I've beaten Napoli by Munich. But I can't beat basic teams. And I beat Man City in the Community Shield. And I think I drew with Man City in the... I almost said Man City. I drew with Man City in the 
league as well. Well, we are out of this tournament now. There was no chance of us getting anywhere. Because even if the other game draws, we will then be last. Put in long by Omar. They got a head up and it's 4 1. 94th minute. Let's go. I'm not going to bother watching all the highlights for this one. I don't care. I wish there was a way you could skip to the end of the game. If you like, if the game is done, come and watch them. There should be uh, somewhere in the settings where you can just go skip to end or sing the rest or something. Okay, Bath United have gone down 4 1 in the. English, whatever, Shield, whatever it was called. The preseason tournament. Okay, man of the match is Will Goodwin, their first and second goal scorer. They had 51, so we had 51 to their 49 possession. We had 10 shots to their 11. We had only one on target. We had no corners to their one. They had a yellow card, no reds in the game. Our player stats. Otoyo keeper gets a 5, Dolan 8, Jepson 7, Denton 8, Demi 8. Um, Mulkahi, Mulkahi, I don't know how you say that, is a 6. Ratcliffe and Gore going off in the 65th minute with a 3 and a 5, respectively, in their order, I said it. Evans on a 6, six and Fitzgerald on a 5. Doug Day on a 5 with a goal. Coming on for the other two was Baker for a 4, and going for Gowing, probably Gowing, for a six. Are you enjoying it? No, honestly not, but I'm not going to say that, I'm just going to keep going, because I think it is partly me, I must be doing something, because I've not seen anyone else voice any kind of problems with this, so it's something I'm doing for sure. Okay. Is there another game already coming up? Jesus Christ. Um, and we've got six players who aren't going to be fit for the next game. That's something I've also noticed a lot. The players are never fit and there's not enough in the main squad to keep it going. You have to rotate so much through the first team. You almost need a bigger first team. And with this team having no reserve team as well, it's going to get very hard before we get into the next game. Come on, home. I've also noticed it is very slow. Okay, English tournament, we have one more game. We cannot possibly get into the final because Torquay and Barnett are versing. So no matter what, they will at least get four points. Or one of them will get six. And we have not got a point yet. And we are versing the top team. Watch us win. <laughs> Watch us win now. So a slightly depleted defense in terms of overalls, but we need to do it for fitness. Everyone up front seems okay. Doug Dale was a bit tired. Can you go that side, Ratcliffe? No, you can't. What about you? Can you go that side? No, you can't. One thing I said, there's very, very little. Players have zero, like they can't play different positions. What's that term called? They're very, there's no versatility in players. They basically can play in only their little position. No matter how good they are, like Luis Figo in, sorry, Luis Diaz even, in my Liverpool save can literally only play wide, on the wing, on the left side only. Nowhere else. You bring him even slightly inside, it goes orange. Switch him on the other side, on the wing, goes orange. Put him in the center, goes orange. Put him in even slightly deep, goes orange. There is zero versatility in where you can play players, which is extremely annoying. Do we start doing boosts for every single game we play? For one player? I'll leave it to you guys if I don't get a comment in this next video, which I doubt I will. I'll make a decision myself whenever I feel fit to make said decision. For now, we'll stick with no for the integrity if that's the indecision. Bath United versus Solihull. We are at, I didn't even see the stadium. Are we home or are we away? I think we're home, so it must be at the Royal. It's not, it's not, it's not our stadium. Or is it? If it is, we are at Royal Victoria Park or Royal Victoria Stadium. Um, I'm not even going to bother reading their team, you can see it there, if you want to pause it, you can read it that way. We've not played away yet, either, that's the thing, we've always been home so far, which is weird. Is that intentional? I don't know. First highlight is for us, 
I didn't see it. I'm assuming that's Matha. Yes, it is Matha putting into the box. Header has been blocked, and then it's been either sent wide by them, sent wide by them. Matha again from the corner. Five minutes in, few early attempts from us, put into the center. And another blocked header, and back out for another corner. And the highlight is shown. So Matha puts it in for a third time in less than a minute. And they launch it out this time, I think off the hands of the keeper. Okay, something I noticed just then, it says we are getting joy down the right flank. We need to focus on more attacks down there. So we're going to see what happens if we change our tactics to down the right flank only. Let's see if that creates a goal. So we're on the right flank. Who is this on the ball now? It is Dolan. Dolan cuts it back in here to... I didn't see who that was, but it's nowhere near the goal anyway, so it's fine. We're still on the get and joy down the right flank thing. Okay, our attack's looking dangerous, it just said. They've gone forwards, so how is attack looking dangerous? Um... We're going to collect the ball super deep with Bate, who puts it straight back into their path. Parsons puts it here to read, and they've scored. See what I mean? Like, you follow what they say, you concede. You do what you want to do, they concede. You concede. They say positive things, you concede. They say negative things, you concede. It just seems like no matter what you do, you concede. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know what to do. I'm a bit lost. Any tips, as I said, put down below in the comments. Okay, we got the ball in the attack, and we've lost the ball. So out here, I didn't see who that was header, the name didn't come up. And the ball here is Ratcliffe, puts it into the centre, and the header is missed by, I believe, Evans. Defensively, we are struggling. Even though the highlights it just shows that we were on the attack and our possession is going up, which would suggest we are on the attack. So these things just they don't make up. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm making shit up or not. I feel like I'm broken because I'm saying the same thing like 15 times in this video. Okay, Ratcliffe again playing very poorly. One thing I actually haven't done this episode is look at squad roles. Ratcliffe wants, he's playing in his preferred squad role as well. We've actually got majority possession, we've got 11 shots but none on target. What is our... So what's our instructions for attacking? Um, forwards is mixed. Okay, let's go work ball into the box. Ooh. Yeah, to try and get more... Better looks because we're already getting plenty of shots, so we shouldn't. Why should we be zero on tight when we've had 11 shots and we've just kicked it straight into their path? No one in goal. Like, this can't be my fault, surely. Like, what have I done? What am I doing wrong here? Like, well. Pfft. I don't understand. Our keepers literally just kick the ball to them. Gameplay is as unrealistic as ever. That was always one of the biggest faults of the game. The gameplay made absolutely no sense to what anything would be like in real life. And that seems to have been worse than it's ever been. Okay, Black Ratcliffe can get off the field now because he has not improved even in the slightest. Mid left. How are you out of position there? You're literally playing, or well, here. You're literally playing on the left side of the midfield. Would you want to be all the way out? Something like this, there's zero. He can only play there. Even if he goes deep there, he's still mid left, as you can see. So he's literally only in position, or he can go a little bit forward. It's just ridiculous. I can't be fucked. Just leave it. I hope some of these things are improved, if it's not just me, or something I'm doing causing this, because I can't see what it is at this point, like... Okay, Dallas on the ball. He's pushing forward. He's been stopped there, but they put back in any way by the player behind him, and they're going to score again here, I think. Maybe just missing the right post. Still 2 nil down. Okay, Dallas is taking the ball straight off Dolan off the attack. We've got it back in here, though, to Barker. Barker's going to push forward. 
Can we get a shot on goal? Pissed off after, but I feel we like had scored a goal, but I didn't see a concentration. We'll see it on the replay at least. So Rock is hitting the edge of the box. He takes the shot. Decent shot. Bottom round corner and tucks it nicely in there. It's a bit too little too late though, isn't it? And that's gold again. I can't remember. For me to be this disencouraged about a game this early on, when there's seemingly nothing that I change that actually affects anything, whether I go with stats, just, uh, tactics that the game has preset or ones that I choose, doesn't seem to change anything. To me, it shows serious flaws in the game. 53% uh, possession, so therefore yeah, so we actually had more possession. We had almost equal shots, but we only had one on target, they had eight. We had 12 shots, so they're 14. Four corners, so they're five. Okay, Atoy on six, Dolan on a nine, Jepson on eight, Bait on a nine, Doyle on a nine, Zoe on an eight, uh, Mulcahy on a seven, going off on 64, as well as Ratcliffe on a three. Gore on a 6, Evans on a 7, Fitzgerald on a 6, Matha on a 6 with a assist, Sub coming on, Barker getting a goal with a 7, and Gowing with a 5 coming on the field. Nothing I've noticed, a lot of the time, I know this is probably isn't the best, exa best example, but players have really good ratings apart from 1 or 2 in the team, and we lose the game. Okay, other game was a 1-0, Barnett beating Torquay. Okay, Gowling has gone up a lot during that train. He's actually gone up almost an entire stat. He's, he was a, like fairly close to the end, but he's gone all the way up to there in the next stat. These other guys, you can actually see the green go into this slightly faded blue. Fitzgerald, for someone who's been to such a high potential, possibly isn't growing very quick. Now, I get how this team could not be very not be very um what's the term not perform very well because of the clear chem well there's not so bad now i'm looking at it but up here the clear chemistry problems between some of the players but that's not something that follows through to my other save so that's not a consistent thing that i can say i'm really trying to find a reason why i'm causing this but i'm really struggling to find one I'm not saying it's not me but I'm really struggling to find the reason how it is me. Only thing I can say is there's something in the tactics, but then if their tactics that they set don't work, then they're expecting everyone to know soccer well enough to know what tactics are good. And if you just use their base tactics or not, which I've tried both, it seemingly makes no difference. You still lose, even if you're a golfing class against opposition. If you're big enough, if you're like Liverpool versus, I don't know, I can... Who did I verse in the preseason games? You saw the games. I lost a whole city 2 0 when I beat someone else, something else in that first video I did. Like, if you're good enough, good enough, you will beat the opposition. But if you're just, if you're Everton versus Liverpool, or you're, say, mainly 84 to mainly 70 something, or like Liverpool, mainly 87 to 80 as your opposition's average rating, you lose even though that is still massively better than your position. Seemingly, no matter what you change. I know this has been a bit of a ranty episode, and I apologize, but I don't know what else to talk about, really. I'm gonna keep going through the P uh, Paris FC game, and see, we will lose Paris FC, because they are a far superior team to us. Jepson's now injured, fuck off. Solly Hill also won 3-0, by the way, in that final. So they get the 61,000. It's just a shame that it's going to be such a disheartening... Like, just playing... Like, I, don't, I don't even know what to say. I'm completely lost for words. We have two injuries early, early in the season. I'm going to get heaps of midfielders in here because our midfielders always seem to be tired. 
Um, who never plays? I've never played Griffin. That should be enough, surely. We've got a mid-right, a two mid-centers, and a mid-left. That should be fine, surely. We've got a defensive DC in there. Two defensive players injured. We've got a spare keeper and one spare forward. Okay, if that's not enough, and he's complaining about not being in a position he wants to play in, well, stop whinging, you sucky bitch. You're a professional footballer, you should be able to play not in a five square meter radius of where you ideally want to play and not complain about that. That's not even English, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, look at the ratings of their players. This is gonna be, uh, oh, um, Demacone is still the, is their main keeper now in real life. He was like the, when I played it, he was, he was like our talisman in that series, apart from, not including Czech, I'm talking about like he was that other guy. He was our young keeper that was coming through, apart from Mason, who was also doing quite well in the end. But he was like our, our rock in defense. I'm not gonna lie, SM20 was so far superior to this game. This is a more cool features, yes. But just as a game, it's just so much better. Does it say? So this is at our home ground again, Royal Victoria Stadium. Um, this is going to be an absolute spanking. Let's get into it. I'm going to keep going so I can't stand it anymore. All my phone dies, I think. No, I'm not going to because I want to be editing this for a long video again. Well, like it took so long to edit, and because I use Shotcut, which is a free thing, and it always has a problem where for some reason some things just randomly lose the ability to exist in the editor so I have to go back and redo them or it won't let me process the video because there are corrupt files somehow in there it's a pain, it's a long story but money is not being spent on this channel because it is not worth spending money on as much as I love doing YouTube it is not worth spending money on an editor or a Playstation or something to properly record videos for those who don't know, this channel is purely run through my phone and my Surface. Okay, as you would expect, we have we are on the back foot all game at the moment, 34% possession. But apparently, we're doing well. Matha puts the ball into the box, goes well across the face, back into the middle here, and Evan takes a shot. It's saved by their keeper. We have a corner. Ball getting put in here again by Matha. Roman starting well here as the underdogs. And it's headed away. Gory pushing forward. Nothing happening. And now suddenly we're losing, losing midfield battle within a highlight. We've gone from apparently being very offensively positive in our play to suddenly being absolutely destroyed apparently in the midfield which I'm expecting and they've scored a goal as you'd expect I'm waiting for us to actually play away at some stage I don't want to see the goal again come on okay that name is heading forwards whatever that name is hey man say that out into the box puts it out wide here he gets it in none of them are coming up so I can't read them and Caddy scores with a shot to the left hand corner getting past the keeper we are 2 0 down suddenly in about 2 minutes. Now I'm going to do the, the obvious move and go to a more defensive mindset. I want to park the bus, that makes no sense. I'm going to go into more of a. slow tempo, disciplined work rate, keep it normal. Creativity, balance. I, what? I didn't say to do that. Why the fuck did you do that? Okay, passing. Let's keep passing short. We want to keep possession of this ball. Let's go down both flanks still. Forwards can do whatever they want at the moment. Play early crosses. Um, let's go by line crosses. Let's try and get it closer to our goal. Do we try and go for a deep? Let's go for a deep back line. We've gone to a lot more defensive here. 
And they're uh, still, obviously, as you'd expect, being the far better team, far superior team beating us. I'm not having a problem with losing this one, as we should be doing. Uh, Broadband pushing forward into our half. Being chased by a much more tired Arab. Oh, and that is half time. That sounded bad, a much more tired Arab. I didn't mean the nationality or race, I meant the name Arab. Okay, so they've got an attack here. Kebel pushing forward, getting around two of our guys. Fitzgerald chasing them all the way back to our box. And it's been saved, back down to Gray, or Gory even. And they have scored. That's something that seems to happen a lot. Keeper saved, straight back into the path of the opposition. Never happens for me, and if it does, we miss the goal. But they always seem to score. Okay, see what I mean? Arab, that's his name. Arab coming off for Pembele. Gori there, just on the edge of our half, pushing in now. It is a 3v2 in our defence. Where are the two defenders? What are they doing? A lot of good defending there, but what, see, what was that? What was that from our defence? He's won the ball, and he's literally just kicked it towards two of their players. The gameplay does not make any sense. That is not even close to a realistic piece of play. And that happens regularly. Had happened four or five times already. I'm only five games and six games into the season, I'm about to say. And by that I mean the Premier League season. There's been two other Champions League games. Might, might actually be more. Might be more like ten games in. Okay, Kevil. Going for goal from a free kick. And it's missed. I will end it after this game, after this. Actually, I'll play the Knots one and then I'll end it. Because I, I want to be getting into the actual home away, the actual league season after this episode. This may be out tomorrow or today, I've not decided. I probably should make sure I still finish my other series that I've been doing. The one's taking over completely, especially if I end up not enjoying it and stopping it. Doyle on the ball, putting it long here. Even though I said to do short passes, Fitzgerald's shot was blocked and they've got the ball again. Okay, ball's been put long. And that is full time, a 4 0 loss in the friendly against Palace FC. Kind of expected, well, not kind of, was expected to lose this, but that's fine. I don't mind losing to Paris FC, they should be beating us. We had 32% possession, 8 shots, sorry, 9 shots to their 28, 2 on target to their 15. Two, so we still had similar shots on target, but we do them well on top. Two corners to their rate, no yellow cards or have cards of any description in the game. Our player ratings are as follows. O'Toyle with a 3, Dolan with a 7, she's the only one who really performed today. Uh, Broadbent with a 4, Bate with a 4, Doyle with a 6. Mulcahy has, I should sort of have said that name. With a 6, Ratcliffe with a 3, Core with a 6, Evans with a 6, Fitzgerald. And I made no substitution, I just realised. We only had, if you look just underneath Paris FC at the stadium, we only had 1,500 at that game today. A stadium with a capacity of 3.2, I think we have currently. We have more training. Watch, there'll be another injury. Okay, good. Oh, yep, see, two injuries. They better be the same ones before. Jepson was injured before. I think Demi might have been as well, so that's okay. Hopefully they were the same injuries before, I believe they were. What's in here? No, that's a new injury for Demi. Every time you train you get injuries, it just, I mean, well... It's just so unrealistic and stupid. Man City losing the Community Shield 1-0 to Liverpool. Okay, Ross County, the last game before the home and away season. <sighs> Let's go. Youth system, we have more youth players, but they are all crap. I'm not going to waste money on wages for any of them. More training. Actually, I'm not going to train. All training does is injure people, so I'm just not going to train. Fine, I'll train. Fuck off. Seriously. Seriously. Two injuries. 
And that wasn't before it was Jepson, it wasn't Broadbent. That's a new injury in the team. Broadbent played in the last game. It's just stupidity. For a football manager style game, which is meant to be based off realism to an extent, it is just ridiculous stupidity. It's shit anyway. Get off the field, Jerry. What if Jepson's fit again? Playing the same squad. We are home again, by the way, for the like seventh time in this series. Consecutive home games. So even like just beyond the fact that I'm not winning games and it seems to be nothing from what I can tell to my fault. It may or may not be, but from what I can tell it seems to not be. There are so many problems with this game, like the kits not being what I picked. Players getting injured at stupid levels. The gameplay just being so ridiculously unrealistic. There are so many problems, and that will be the title of this, of this episode. There are just so many problems with this game. He has missed that left-hand corner with that first shot for Ross County. I didn't even check their stats, I mean, I forgot. Let's see if it's here. Statistics, opposition's in here somewhere. Yep, we're going to get whipped again. Okay, they've got an attack here again. Had a shot saved there by O'Toyle. Okay, Sims putting in from the corner and saved by O'Toyle again. Second shot goes in. That's us, we miss that second chance every single time. Guarantee you. Again, we should lose this game, so I don't mind too much losing it. They are a superior team to us. I just did want to pick another. What do you want me to do about it, though? Our midfield's not playing well. What do you want me to I can't sub them off. Ratcliffe is just fucking shit. Get off the field. What are you doing? You're crap. Every single game, everyone else... I mean, math is with you this time, but every single game, everyone else is on a six at least. You're always lower. Sims goes straight past Doyle after a very poor touch. He passes it in there to someone. I'm not going to bother. I was trying to start with that name. Hulu or something like that. And it is half time. 1 0 to Ross County. County. Okay, Perrington now going. Oh, it's going back actually. Johnson with Baldwin. Launches it in long. They've got a header off the post and wide, I believe that was. Tilson coming off the field for Ak Akoi? Akio? I don't know. Some shit like that. Our subs are being made there. 67th minute. Let's see if we can get at least a draw out of somewhere in the preseason. They're going forwards again here. The past is strength part of the last though. Evans is pushing forwards. Plenty of space between him and the goals though. Fitzgerald has just decided not to help him. Let him do it all on his own. And it looks like he's going to have to. And he's just trying to the path of someone. Keeper. And it's back to Evans. And we have scored the equaliser. 77th minute. I would shout, but other people in the house, I don't want to be rude. Come on, Romans. Get a draw. Get something from this preseason. Something positive. Something for me to want to actually record the next episode. I will lead the way, but just something to make me want to do it. Come on, we can hold out. We're going forward again here. Jepson on the ball. He puts in a really early ball. Headed down there by Fitzgerald, I believe, into the path of Barker, who's got around a few guys. He's really wide, though. He puts it in the boards here. Who was that? That's Sam Gowing. We are in front against Ross County. 2-1. 78th minute. Holy shit. Everyone looks identical, but that's fine. Good ball across. And Darwin just puts that in. Quite simply. I'm not going to jinx us. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Another chance here. Barker's putting it in from the corner. Who's in there? Straight to one of them. Where's the ball? There it is. The ball should upfield. Nothing comes of it. Come on. Hold on. 
they're heading forward now, um, that name, I'm not going to even try, something bitty, um, save there from the keeper, and Dolan puts it upfield, straight to one of them though, Akoi puts it back in to the mixer, nothing happens, back to Akoi though, gets round our guys, puts it out wide, and the header is almost outside the goal square. 95th minute. Surely we hold on. Goal kick. Come on. Throw the full-time whistle. Come on! It's just a friendly. But it's something. It is something. To get me through to the next episode. 2-1 win. Oh, not counting. Sorry. Lost counting. Hasn't changed my opinion on the game at all, but thank God for that. Otoyo, goalkeeper with the man of the match. Our first win at the Royal Victoria Stadium and our first win at all. Not even a thousand in attendance. With 41% position to their 59, 9 shots to their 19, 4 on target to their 6, 1 corner to their 2. So like the game, almost like the game was listening to me. Our goal scorers were Evans and Gowan, theirs was Tilson. And our player stats were Otoyo with an assist. Otoyo didn't assist a goal. This needs to be fixed. Another problem with the game. I forgot that's not one more I didn't put on there. Wrong players being assigned goals and assists that need to be fixed. Um Dolan on the nine. Um, Jepson on a 6, Bait on an 8, Doyle on a 7, that name on a 7, Ratcliffe on a 5 being removed, Gore on an 8, Evans on an 8 with a goal, Fitzgerald on a 6, Mathers on a 4 getting removed in the 69th, coming on in the 69th was Barker with a 7 and an assist and also coming on at the same time was a goal from Gowin with a 6. So both substitutions making an impact. I know I've talked a lot of shit about this game. And it's mainly from frustration out of just how painful it has been to play today. I'm st I still, I'm going to keep playing it. I want to enjoy it. It's not that bad a game really, but there are just so many things that make it hard to enjoy. Just silly little things. Like... Such restriction in where players can play. Wrong people being given. The things I have to talk about all episode. These little things are things that shouldn't be wrong this deep into a... Into a game series. This is like what this. This is at least the seventh or eighth of something like that. And these fundamental little things are wrong. I want to enjoy the game. I love this series of games. I know I've not played it into it, but that's nothing to do with my enjoyment of the previous games. Purely for reasons, meaning I could not fit them on my phone, and my channel was going elsewhere in terms of content. I wanted to record but coming back to this I just like just silly little things I pray some of these things are fixed I pray that I'm the reason it seems so impossible to win games and it's not the creation like the way the game's made I pray it's me because that means I can actually fix it and it gives me something to work to um, by the way, we're the only friendly game. I wasn't going to be the other friendly season if there was. So we don't play again until the start of the season against Gateshead. I almost sort of called them Westgate Gateshead in the Vanarama Ban National League. Okay, that's the episode. Sorry for the ranting, but I had to get a few things off my chest. It's been annoying me all day trying to play on my other side. And this was sort of like a good release. Got some content in the episode as well. Got me a title. That wasn't the aim for it, but it's just a convenient little side thing. What's this? If you could also remove that bug where that always 
has a exclamation mark that would be that's just nothing really important but that's just a nice thing for someone who hates notification things that they can't be removed that'd be a very nice thing to remove please thank you um yeah hope you enjoyed i'll be back whenever i'm back with this series this probably won't be out today i'll probably do a different, different thing today because i can't be bothered editing this one um tell me i restarted the recording i did thank god um yeah see you next time see ya